Exactly one year ago, China imposed its national security law on Hong Kong, giving itself the power to intervene in Hong Kong matters whenever it believes that national security is at stake. Since the adoption of the law, life in Hong Kong has changed dramatically. To show that we stand with the people of Hong Kong on this important day, the Renew Europe Group is presenting today its new blueprint for a new EU-China strategy. China is rapidly changing the global geopolitical context and the ambitious agenda of the Chinese Communist Party will be a challenge to the liberal world order. To position ourselves and defend our way of life, we need a new strategy to deal with China. And the strategy we propose today is based on four pillars. China is the world's largest carbon emitter. So if we want to save the world from a climate catastrophe, we must make sure that China commits to the Paris Agreement. China has become Europe's biggest trading partner. But we face a China that does not play by the same rules. European companies face difficulties to enter the Chinese market. And Europe is confronted with Chinese state subsidies, which result in unfair competition. And China is using forced labor for the production of certain products. We need a fairer, more equal trade relationship. The EU-China investment agreement is an attempt to do this. But let's be very clear here. As long as China does not lift countersection on EU individuals and entities, as long as China does not improve its human rights record and abandon forced labor, we will not ratify. Probably the biggest challenge in our relationship is China's contempt for human rights. It's an authoritarian, one-party state in which the rule of law does not count. Human rights organizations and various countries have labeled the atrocities against the Uyghurs a genocide. And with the national security law, China effectively took back control over Hong Kong. And Taiwan too is under increased threat. Only a more united Europe will be able to counter the challenges that come with China's growth. We must reform to play a role on the world stage. An end to the unanimity rule, which so often blocks joint decisions. A European defense union as the European pillar within NATO. And we must make China pay for its disinformation campaigns and cyber attacks. But we should also realize Europe cannot do it alone. Only a pact with the other democracies in the world will make sure we can defend a world order that is based on human rights and the rule of law.